What does it look like? Oh, a combination uh, spaceship and motorcycle, I guess. You know, with a car like this, you can pick up guys really easy. Wow. God, I think I'm going to go buy one now. <laughs> It looks like a jet, it rides like a regular car. It gets 100 miles to the gallon and can cruise at 120 miles per hour. Yet it costs less to buy than a top of the line motorcycle. The base price for this vehicle is only $5,200. I spent more than that on a motorcycle uh, last year and 100 miles to a gallon, that's incredible. It's called the Light Star, and if it looks like a miniature jet, that's because it was designed by Jim Beatty, the same aeronautical engineer who designed the fancy little mini-jet, which was popularized in the recent James Bond movie, Octopussy. And Beatty has a dire prediction for the car makers of today. The automobile cannot be made out of cement and iron anymore. It just can't be done. I think the present automobile manufacturers are very, very talented people and very, very wise, and they will change. But those who don't change will become antique collectors. Getting into the Light Star is not exactly like getting into a car. As a matter of fact, it's more like stepping into the cockpit of a jet airplane, if Mr. Beatty will help me here. You uh, put your foot up on something that looks like a wing. Actually, this is called an outrigger. Go. Step down into a platform and lower yourself down into the cockpit and once you get inside off you go and on the instrument panel there's everything you can think of including an am fm radio and a cassette player so you can go down the highway listening to some music at the very least this is the most luxurious motorcycle you will ever see that's right, the Light Star is classified as a motorcycle. And if you were to take the body off, this is what you'd see underneath. A redesigned motorcycle that gets fantastic gas mileage. In fact, you can fill up the five gallon gas tank for less than $6 and go 500 miles. Fill it up twice and you can go from Michigan to Dallas, Texas without stopping. Somebody sees you for literally four or five seconds only. And they look at you and they give you a thumbs up sign. We all know we've got to save energy. We've got to save the, the fuel that we have in this world. We want America to do it. They look at this thing and immediately they see it's advanced, it's new technology, it is the way of the future, and they give us a thumbs up sign. I can just imagine seeing one of these parked in a parking lot at a supermarket or something. It's, I think it'd really blow you away, you know? <laughs> Is America ready for the Light Star? The production models won't be available to the public for several months. But Armand Jose, who's been driving one of the prototype models around, says many people are looking, and some are buying. Well, we think this is an ideal second vehicle. It's not the primary vehicle. You cannot haul plywood in it, and it won't replace the van or the station wagon or the pickup. But for commuting, if you just stand and look on the highway, about 90% of the cars only have one person in it. That's a candidate for this vehicle. It may be a motorcycle, but to most people, it looks like something from outer space. In fact, pull into a parking lot, and you might just as well have landed the space shuttle. It's a, a modernistic car, something out of the 21st century, something out of Buck Rogers. Well, it looks like a cross between a uh, tricycle and a rocket. Jim Beatty spent two years designing the Light Star before he started building the first prototype. And one of his biggest concerns was safety. There are several major reasons why this vehicle is going to be as safe as it is. Uh, the fact that it doesn't have doors, but actual solid sides. And the fact uh, next to the sides are steps. And there are structural members underneath there, strong enough for you to stand on, but also designed to take a very severe side impact load. Other safety features include a roll bar, which can absorb six times the weight of the vehicle, and the body will be made of a high-tech material called rim urethane, flexible, strong, and virtually unbreakable. It's uh, personal, it's selfish, it's everything a guy wants. <laughs> By the year 2000, will everyone be driving vehicles like this? Oh, absolutely. All vehicles in the future 
are going to end up looking somewhat like this. They, they will be very streamlined, uh, they'll be very smooth. So is this the car of the future? Only time will tell.